Cancer, it's good to be home. Hello, all my fellow Cancerians. This is your weekly, um, yeah, weekly oracle and tarot card reading for your forecast and predictions for the week of October 24th through October 30th. This is the first week of Scorpio season, the first full week of Scorpio season and last full week in October. Yeah, we have come that far, Cancerians, and it's been a hell of a, it's been a hell of a week. It's just been a hell of a year. Um, Mercury, uh, we have headed into Scorpio season and almost simultaneously Mercury has headed into retrograde in Scorpio season. That's going to dig up a lot and almost a, a lot from the past is going to come back up. Things that we thought were over with or done with, um, things that maybe basically not bad things, almost like this is a good time for somebody that can be very introspective and quiet like Cancerians to actually get recognition or things to start moving forward for you guys because even though you'll stick up for somebody else way quick like that, you will never stick up for yourself. You just don't tend to do it. And a lot of times people pass you over or pass over how valuable you are because they don't look long enough or they don't take enough time and you're too quiet about yourself or your own self-worth. So Cancerian, this is a really good time. This is a really good time for us to get noticed because Mercury goes into the underworld and really does like fine tooth comb forensic work down there. And that's how it sort of affects the underworld. And so a lot can be dug up. So if you have put in some good karma and you have put in some good, um, some good valuable uh, stuff, people will come up and start finding you finally. Finally, because they'll they'll look you over again. They'll give things another look, things that maybe they passed over or passed by. So this whole season could come up with some hidden gems. Let's put it that way, Cancerian, because it's a flattering sign for you. Scorpio is a sister sign. Um, you know, the river Styx ran through, ran through, uh, runs through the underworld, and we are water. We are water creatures. We can walk in water and land anywhere we go, and so there is a familiarity with that space and with that terrain and ability to access intuitively, especially those depths. So this is a good time for us. I feel like this will be a, a surprisingly, a surprise let's put it this way. It's going to be a hell of a lot better than Mercury retrograde was during our season. Remember that? Ooh, Cancerians. Shoot, that was difficult. So this was your channeled message. Um, Cancerians, if you're on a platform that allows for commercial breaks, I'm going to put one in about now. Thank you so much preempt preemptively for um, having patience with the commercial breaks because that really does make a donation to the channel, essentially. So thank you so much, and I will see you in a second. Now, Cancerians who do not have to sit through a commercial break or ones that did, thank you so much. Anyway, I just have to say this. Um, that's what I have to say, really. It's been a lot. It's, been a, it's, a, it's just been a big week. It really has. Um, and not necessarily bad things, but wow, a lot, right? A lot, Cancerians. I know it. This is going to be your Oracle card reading. And then the link is below in the description box for um, the Vimeo reading, which is the full tarot card spread and the whispers of love romance predictions for this week. So let's get into your Oracle card reading um, coming out of the channeled message and see exactly what is going on for Cancerian for the week of October 24th through the, ooh, I just, I got a feeling. Ooh, I just got a feeling. Ooh, um, I got a feeling, like I got a love feeling, like I got shook for a second. And I feel like in a lot of ways, Cancerians, it's like for you, maybe you have been alone for a while or away from a loved one for a long time. And it just kind of rang a bell of something coming up for you that you would not expect. It will take you off guard. In fact, if I said it to you now, you may not believe me. Let's put it that way. Um, that's interesting. So Cancerian for October 24th through the 30th of um, 2019, there is change coming for you, Cancerian. Um, it's something that you can't handle. It's nothing that you uh, should be afraid of or worried about, but it is going to rattle you to your core, I think in a good way. And it's funny because as I was doing a pre-shuffle of these cards, this card popped out. 
right? And then I was like, nope, I hadn't focused on Cancerian. I'm putting it back in the deck, but here it is. It comes out again. It is facing up and is the only card that is, is facing up. All the other cards are in reverse. See, look. See, that's how the other cards came out. All the other cards came out face down. So this is the card that's face up. This is life is speeding up. You're taking off. This is like your launch period, Cancerian. It was almost like you were being pulled back for that launch. You were revving up to take off. And now is the time. This is a time when you actually do, like life is speeding up. There's a lot that's going to come at you. It's going to be, I don't think it's going to be bad stuff. But I think it's going to be a lot and that could feel like it's bad because that means a lot of pressure and a lot of obligation and you wanting to do things right and you not wanting to disappoint anybody. And there's so many opportunities. It's like, why can't I just enjoy these fucking opportunities instead of having to be bogged down by them? And there you go. Like that's sort of the energy of so much that has been hit back. This is like a dam. It's like the Hoover Dam busting open and like flooding you with abundance, but it's almost like... <clears throat> like like I like too much too much too fast too soon but Cancerian literally let it wash you away you have got to go with this because this is what you've been waiting for for a very long time and life is speeding up so instead of facing the dam and watching the water hit you literally turn your back to it in other words just go with the flow in faith and let it carry you around like let this momentum go don't question it don't think too hard about it just like let it rush by you it's carrying you exactly where you need to go so now here we go, here we go, coming out. Transformation is beautiful. What did I say? Like this is a transformative period. This is when we come out. Like the whole freaking time we've been like half stuck in this chrysalis of ours. We knew we'd been becoming a butterfly, but it has been very, very difficult for us to spread our wings or like get our little, you know, ex caterpillar paw, like, like unstuck from the, like we've been, We've been having a hard time separating from our chrysalis. This could be because of us, because we have a hard time letting go. And that's just how we are. But this is bursting open and finally coming through. And your wish is coming through. You've been wishing for something. You've been manifesting something and it's coming to you. It is finally like the spirits and the gods have finally heard it. The abundance has finally arrived at the right place. It has finally found us. That's why I'm saying go with the flow. This is going to be some life-changing stuff. And I don't think it's just for this week. I do predict this is going to go throughout all of Scorpio season. But you are definitely, especially this weekend, going to start to feel how much your life has really changed. How different you are than what you were before. This is that feeling of not being able to go back, not wanting to go back. Being somebody so different and so completely realized as that different person that there is no going back. There's just going forward. This is something that you've wanted a long time. I feel like, do you see how the butterflies sort of fly together? All the monarch butterflies, they fly south for the winter. So it's almost like you're headed to a place where people are like you. You know, it's almost like you found a place where you belong, someplace warmer, someplace balmier, someplace happier, someplace where it's easier to exist as this new version of yourself. It's like you found it. You're finally a part where you have maybe felt lonely for a really long time. Interesting. Okay. Um, Ah, sing your own song. You're going to be accepted for exactly who you are. But please, so please, Cancerian, especially this week, don't doubt yourself. Just be yourself and be yourself out loud. Just let yourself share everything that you are. There's nothing that you can say or do this week that's going to be misinterpreted as, interpreted as wrong or incorrectly. In fact, your voice... And your way of being or your requests are going to be like music to people's ears. They're going to appreciate what you are, who you are, what you have to give. And it's also, but it's also spirit calling you to please be your own unique self. Please be exactly who you are out loud. Please don't filter yourself, not for other people's feelings, not for propriety, not for any reason. This week is, it's, it's quintessential to this week and to the success in this week to just be your full self completely and totally. I also feel, and I'm hearing this, this is somebody singing your praises. This is somebody um, just, just uh, 
uh, adoring you and worshiping you and and maybe even dedicating a song to you or writing a song about you so this is all about people really glomming onto getting onto the cancerian train canary is this beautiful yellow bird in the midst of what is coming into fall so it's almost like you're the center of cheeriness and happiness in a week where maybe things aren't so good for everybody else but you bring the sunshine oh i love that ah peacock let it shine but it's come out upside down and what i really love about this being upside down is this is scorpio season and it's almost like we're in the upside down world. This is a world that we could not have predicted that took us by storm. This is still your voice shining through and coming through, but it's almost going to sideswipe you. The opportunities, or it's almost like you don't expect what you say to have the impact that it's having this week. You don't realize just how effectual your point of view or your perspective is. It's almost like a, a situation that was retained or held back is now coming to fruition. But also, um, whatever you do, it's like, I didn't do change anything. Why are things working out when they didn't work out in the past? That's the floodgate cancer. Just let it go. Just let the, let, who cares? Like, don't even worry about it. Because honestly, whatever was holding up your progress isn't holding up your progress anymore. So in other words, just please absolutely be yourself. This is going to be almost like a surprise. What did I say? And this is why it came out upside down. There is, it's like the underworld and everybody's voice and everybody's heart and soul is shining right at you. It's like, it's like there, the spotlight is on you this week. I, I can't really say it any other way. They want to hear what you have to say. And it almost is sort of worth them casting their light in your direction. Um, yeah, something with words. You can't say something wrong. Somebody's going to hear you that was not able to hear you before. Do you remember what I said when, in the channeled message in the beginning of this reading? Was that something that you had put out there before? Um, it was not working. Nobody was picking up on it. Nobody was interested. Well, all of a sudden it's like that opportunity is coming back around and suddenly that light is shining on you and people are noticing and are taking notice this week. Um, learn from the past elephant spirit, but it's upside down. <sighs> Give me a second cancerian. Um, ah, that's what it is. Forget the fucking past. Forget it. Do not worry about it anymore. What did I say? The past is gone. It doesn't matter why it worked out. Don't ask the questions. Don't overanalyze. It, it, it's not going, in other words, it's just going to tie you up and get you swimming, trying to swim upstream and exhausting yourself. You need to just go with the flow this week. That's what this is. This is saying, forget about the past. It doesn't matter what happened in the past and it doesn't matter why things were blocked up and clogged up for as long as they were. It doesn't matter. What matters is it is here now. The opportunity is here now. Take it. Please just go with the flow. Um, and both of these are upside down. Um, Gemini had a lot of uh, reversal cards too, but they popped out in reverse. They didn't start out that way. So take time out. Nope, this is definitely not time to take time out. This is time to, to be in the midst of everything that is happening and let yourself be completely carried away by the beautiful flow, by the speed, by the agility, by the direction, by, by, by the explosion that is igniting you and casting you forward. This is not a time for you to hide or be defensive. Put your bear away, put it down. Don't try to protect yourself against that abundance that's flowing towards you. Cast yourself backward and go with the flow. And then this is compromised sense of self. And what this is telling me is, if you have a compromised sense of self, this is the one thing, the one caveat that could get in your way this week. If you have a compromised sense of self, what you're going to do is you're going to be defensive and you're going to think about all those things that I told you not to think about. And you're going to want to know why you're going to want to understand. You're going to want to dig into it and you're going to be wasting 
wasting your time and you're going to be wasting your opportunity. Please, Cancerians, do not miss this boat. Get on it. Jump on it. Even if it is a, a booze cruise, you know, jump on it. The boat is there for a reason. Please go with the flow. Your compromised sense of self could make you defensive in ways that will hold you back this week. Even if you are doubting who you are, even if you doubt if you deserve this, you must take it. You must take it and say thank you to spirit. Thank you for the abundance that it's sending and make like no qualms about it, Cancerian. It was meant for you. Even if you don't understand where the karma is coming from, it wouldn't come to you if it hadn't been built up, if it wasn't yours. You are going to get yours this week. Finally, 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 your life is going to push forward. But I do feel like this. there's this pull back toward you of I need to understand it. If, if that's where you want to go and that's where you want to go in your mind, I'm just letting you know you're going to get in the way of the abundance. You may even hurt yourself. Like I said, imagine the Hoover Dam bursting open, right? You could either be like, I need to know what's happening. I need to watch everything. And then push, get hit in the face. Or you can literally just turn around. I don't need to know what's happening. Fall back and let spirit take away, take you away and let it whisk you off your feet and carry you downstream. Like literally like a, your own private, um, abundance ride to where it needs to carry you. Please, please, please choose choice B. I'm going to turn the camera around to review the cards with you. Hold on. All right, Cancerian, here is your spread. Do you see this energy that's crowning you is life taking off? It's just uh, uh, like speeding up. This is also a Gemini card for me. I don't know if you're dealing with a Gemini, but I don't think that the, that's the energy. But it also is telling me because Gemini is ruled by Mercury. And I just covered this in the Gemini video. And Mercury is now in Scorpio. In other words, Mer Mercury is going to be working in your benefit. It's, it's literally uncovering all those things that were hidden or held up. All of these, all of these are backwards and upside down. You know, and they all, they all speak to letting go and not being defensive and not do doing that normal Cancerian thing, which is to block yourself away or hide away from changes that are happening. It's like, please, please, please do not hide from these changes because they're actually seeking you out. This is your destiny. The people that are finding you, that are coming out of the closet, those opportunities that are coming back to you. It is meant to be. Please don't question it that much. They are not there to hurt or harm you. They are there to just like, they are there because almost because you invited them in, but you just forgot about them. It's almost like you gave up on any of this working out. Well, it is working out. Do you see this light, this upside down inverted light is shining right on you and your transformation. In other words, that's where your focus needs to be. Even if you don't feel completely and totally comfortable with it this week, that is where your focus needs to be in faith and forward. It, 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 it cannot be all glummed up. Learn from the past, forget the past, completely and totally let it go. If you don't, Essentially, you'll be, you'll be doomed to repeat the past, right? You'll be doomed to repeat the past because you've been defensive and you feel bad about yourself. It's almost like all of these opportunities in love coming in and you doubting anybody could ever love you or ever care about you. And so you cast them away and you send them away. It's like your own lack of sense of self or sense of self-esteem is going to undermine the opportunities that are trying to come through to you this week. So this is your warning and this is your knowledge. This is wisdom for you to understand that these next seven days, this is what you're going to have to battle so that you can just let this happen. I want to get into details over on the Vimeo video right now. I'm going to pull a full tarot card sp spread for an extended reading and more detail on this reading and specifics. And I'll also do your romantic reading as well. Cancerian, I'll see you over there.